every morning we need to ask ourselves, what do I really want in life? There's a well-known story of a man who wanted to be successful. So he asked around and he heard about this guru. He went out, sought out and found this guru, knocked on his door, and when the guru answered, he said, all I want to do is to be successful. I want to be like you. Can you teach me how to be successful? The guru looked at him in the eye and said, meet me tomorrow on the beach at 5.30 in the morning. Next morning, the man showed up in a suit. He should have brought a bathing suit because when he got there, the guru looked at him and said, start walking into the water. Came all this way. He's not going to say no. So he starts walking into the water. Gets knees deep and he looks back at the guru and says, okay, I'm in the water. Can you please now teach me how to be successful? The guru just looks at him and says, keep walking. He's thinking, okay, you know, this might be a guru, but he's crazy. But I came all this way, I'm going to keep walking. Gets shoulders deep, and he says, okay, can you please tell me now, how do I be successful? The guru said, keep walking. He gets nose deep, he's about to turn back, when all of a sudden, before he can think twice, the guru pushes his head underneath the water. He pushes and shoves, but he can't break loose. He can't breathe. He's fighting with all of his might, but the guru held him tight. He had no air, no oxygen, he couldn't breathe. He was about to pass out and lose consciousness when the guru pulled him out from underneath the water and told him something which changed his life forever. He told the guy, when you want to succeed as much as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. The question is, what do you really want? Because desire, want, will, is the most powerful and root component of the human being. Because what you want is who you are. And if you can change what you want, you can change who you are. So ask yourself, what do I really want in life? I mean, one of the most daunting but worthwhile exercises you can do is to play the want exercise. It's when you ask yourself, what do I actually want in life? And you have to be completely honest with yourself. And when you get to the answer, you need to then ask yourself, why do I want that? And once again, you have to be completely honest with yourself. And then ask yourself, why do I want that? And keep doing this until you get to something that you want for no reason other than the fact that you want it itself. That is your underlying want. It's what's driving everything in your life. It's your very root. It's your very source of your human drive. And I believe this underlying drive, the underlying want within each of us is to fulfill our unique purpose in life, to actualize our potential, to live the life we were meant to live, to live a life of fulfillment, meaning, and contribution. It also happens to be that when you're living this type of life, you live a life of happiness and deep contentment. So many mistakenly interpret their underlying drive to be happiness. They think all they want is to be happy. And then they try all these different things, all these different outlets to fulfill that want. Money, fame, physical pleasure. But the real yearning within each of us is something much deeper. It's a genuine expression of our higher and best self. When you're in line with your best self, that's when you will be happy. So close your eyes and ask yourself honestly, what do I really want in life? Who do you want to be? What kind of life do you want to live? And now don't sit around dreaming about it and thinking about it, but open your eyes and go make that your reality.